What's up you guys, it's Tristan here. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. Please subscribe and leave a like. With that being said, we're gonna jump straight into the content. So what are we doing in this economic downturn that we're kind of seeing in the stock market? Interest rates are rising a little bit. People aren't moving their money around in the market as much. We are going to talk about a few things that are gonna leave you guys ahead when the stock market returns to what it was a few months ago. So we're gonna reduce our spending. We're gonna go back 30 or 60 days. We're gonna find out how much we spend on entertainment. And then we're going to save all that amount of money that we can. You know, we're going to come up with plans to not spend as much on groceries. We're going to slimline our bills. You know, if you leave the lights on in the house, you're going to turn them on. These are all things that we can help reduce our spending so that in the end, we'll have more money to invest in good opportunities uh, in this market. Okay, so now that we just reduced all of our spending on entertainment and, and things like that. Now we're gonna need to start saving extra money so that when the right investment comes along, we'll be able to jump and pounce right on it. So for starters, just save up to $1,000 as a good minimum starting place. This way you'll just be able to reach it easily if something weird happens and you need some cash right now. Uh, I, in my personal experience, the extra $1,000 is very nice to have. This money can just go in a bank account or it's just somewhere you can keep it in cash, just somewhere where you can get it easily for a just a rainy day okay so we've reduced our spending we've saved a minimum of a thousand dollars for a rainy day the last thing is now we're ready to and start looking at the stock market to invest in so i'm just going to give you guys like a few little tips here uh one i always just want to tell you that there is always a little bit of risk or a, a huge amount of risk in investing in the stock market uh you know you give them their your money and there's not a guarantee that you're going to get that money or there's also a there's also a possibility that you could lose quite a bit of money so there's that little bit of risk but you know the risk doesn't necessarily fluctuate with the good or bad of the market so um the nice thing about a downturned market is you could possibly pick up some cheap stocks that are going to skyrocket again so you know if you pick up some maybe some coke or some pepsi or something like that that are a little lower right now you could probably jump up in the next month or two maybe it's not a guarantee you could jump up in the next month or two and maybe sell off buy some more keep them buy more whatever it is you know that you're interested in doing but the last little thing i'm going to leave you with invest in basic needs companies that is always a good way to go in a downturn market the items like food or healthcare or hygiene products people are always going to need to buy these those companies are probably going to suffer a lot of the least amount of trouble from a downturn economy. So I hope this left you with some tips and some tricks. Guys, please leave a like and subscribe once again. Thank you so much.